you can introduce yourself to the camera. I'm Drake, uh, sophomore, Tampa University. Um, I'm Soren Suplees, and I'm a freshman here at UT. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex Kushner. I'm a freshman at the University of Tampa. So, what do these three gentlemen have in common? Well, they're suspected of being chads. For those of you who aren't sure what a chad is, I've gone to Urban Dictionary for the most scientific definition that I could find on the entire internet. A chad can be described as a stereotypical douchebag, asshole, jock, frat boy with an ego the size of the planet. Basically, they think they're the best at everything, love to talk shit, and are a general nuisance in every way possible. So what, what do you think a Chad is? A Chad? Well, I think it's someone that, um, you know, wears a lot of vineyard vines a lot. And um, I don't know, gets drunk in public for no reason, really loud, um, talks about their dad's money. Chad to me is uh, it's kind of like it's kind of like a douchebag. It's kind of some guy just like thinks he's hot shit. A Chad is a preppy rich white boy who typically spends his dad's money, drives around a nice German vehicle such as like Porsche, BMW, Mercedes, something like that, and an asshole. UT is the perfect place for a Chad to live, due to the warm climate. The area brings in people from all around, providing the Chads a sufficient amount of people to attract every year. I've begun this investigation to determine whether these three men are Chads or not. Would you say that you're a Chad? Uh... No. I do not think I'm a Chad, no. <laughs> well, one, I don't wear vineyard vines. Two, I'm not white. Three, I don't talk about my dad's money. Honestly, I would say I'm a Chad. According to Urban Dictionary, a Chad is somewhat easy to cite, as they're everywhere. But the only way to know for sure is to talk to slash observe one. They typically dress in a similar manner to a bro, though are not, in fact, bros. Wearing nice stuff makes me feel nice. The ladies love it. Um, no, I wouldn't say it's like a chatty because I don't go around saying, look at the ladies Yeezys I copped. So, so a Chad would flex his... Yeah, he would like, he would definitely be flexing it, like post, post the merch on like the gram or something like that, you know? What brand? These are Oakley's right now, but I love the Ferragamo's upstairs. Honestly, no. I'm going to say no. That's definitely something I don't do. It was clear I would need some assistance in determining their chadliness. So I decided to contact an outside source for more information. Alright, so I feel like there's two different types of chads. There's the chad that's like the typical frat guy who like is all like high and mighty, the typical like um, Trump supporter, Republican, like just everything that, I don't know, that's one chad that comes to my mind and then the other version is somebody who is more um, dialed down in that respect but they're more like trying to impress people more. They're trying to get with people, they're trying to do everything that they can to attract somebody of usually the other sex. I could feel my investigation getting close, so I decided to look at the behaviors of Chads to really be sure. Like, what do you mean? Like, like in their spare time, what's the stereotypical Chad do? <laughs> um, I feel like they will try to go to the gym or skateboard, um, Tinder. I feel like Tinder's a very large thing that they do in their free time, just swiping right and left. Do you play beer pong or water pong? Love it. Love it. I love beer pong, yeah. So, so that's a bit of a Chad thing, right? I'd say it's more of a team bonding thing. Beer pong is for everyone. It's for the people? It's for the people. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah. Um, I feel like the basic things that like chads, especially like in frats and stuff, they all play beer pong all the time and they drink beer. Honestly, like alcohol 
and Beer Pond and Tinder. I think I can finally say that my investigation came to an end. The subjects were able to evaluate themselves so that I could come up with a solution. Drake is just a laid-back guy who likes to party sometimes. Soren is more of a relaxed surfer type dude. And Alex, well, he's definitely a Chad. There was only a few questions still up in the air. Now I have an excerpt. Hmm? It says that Chads think that they are God's gift to women. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> I would say that. Are you successful in that field? I am. Wow. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wouldn't say I'm God's gift, but like I'm definitely gifted in the lady department. I guess I don't. I don't know, dude. All right. Uh, what do you think a Chad is? What's your definition of a Chad? Chad. Um, I'd say just like super white guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically. Can Chads be Latino? No. I'm gonna <laughs> zoom in on me right here, like this just shot right here. There, thanks. <laughs> would you give us, like, would you give me your number? Like, would you do that? Probably, sure. Probably? Can I get your number right no. now? Yo, she said probably sure, and then she just says no, bro. Well, because if in the situation, like, wow. sure, because you're not a Chad, but like in this moment, no. We live Something. two floors. We live two floors down. I don't need your number. Oh yeah, it's true. You can just stop by, right? Yeah. 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 There you go. For sure. Just okay. stop by. All right. Is, there, is that it? How do you feel about that? How do I feel about what? What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I feel optimistic. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm more of an optimist, so I'm not taking this as a loss. Um, okay. She yeah. said she's only two floors away, so she can stop in whenever. So, bad at winking, but. <laughs>